Angel here. Thanks for stopping by. I don't know if you can see out there, there's a big sleeping dragon of a mound out in that field. It's one of my favorite landmarks on the way through southern Colorado here. I'm coming up kind of close to Trinidad, which is kind of historical site in its own way. Trinidad, Colorado. I'll let you look that up if you're interested in the history of it. But in any case, uh, this is a gorgeous area. It's like the bot, the plains right before uh, Rio Doso, or I mean Raton Pass, excuse me. Raton Pass is, uh, I don't know if you can see those mountains off in the distance there, but Raton Pass goes up and over those mountains. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I was just kind of thinking about that sleeping dragon out there, which is the name of my business, which came to me because largely because I because um, I grew up looking at mountains that way and thinking they look like big sleeping dragons. And that one in particular, it even has a big ridge on its back and a little, just looks like it's been sleeping there for a couple thousand years, maybe covered with some dust, dirt, and uh, could wake up any time now, I think. And I had just been thinking about names. So that name, Sleeping Dragons, when I went to business school, a lot of my classmates thought, that's when I actually came up with that name for my new business. And a lot of my classmates thought that was a bad idea because dragons have a negative connotation to a lot of people and they're scary and didn't really match my, my vision for creativity and healthcare products, natural products, unique products, unusual products. Although in my mind, they do match because dragons are powerful magic and powerful beings from other dimensions, let's say, or another time, perhaps, or maybe just from our imaginations, depending on your belief system. But to me, the fact that we all have an idea of a dragon, when we say that, the concept is at least something that's become real, even if the creature themselves weren't ever real, by depending on your definition. I personally think, I think we do have creatures currently which are qualify as dragons, although they don't really match the current perception of dragon, the fantasy, the fantastic creature. But I also think that it's possible those, well, even if you just think of our imagination as another dimension or another realm, then they certainly ex exist there. To see that hawk fly on that pole, I don't know if you can see it in this camera. Anyway, I was thinking about names and how important they seem sometimes and how arbitrary they seem but how they run they run kind of similar so i'm uh, not phrasing that correctly but how they reoccur so in my life i've had a lot of j names and a lot of alex's my son's my grandfather's name was james alexander lily and it seems like uh you know starting way back there before i was born there's this kind of long line of of men in my life with J names and also the middle or first name Alex and just earlier I was listening to a radio station happened to be Alex radio and I was going to visit my friend by that name and I was just thinking about how kind of entertaining it is I don't know whether it's just coincidence or you know something actual to it and I don't really care it's just entertaining to my brain I play this number game when I'm traveling like I am now where I look for numbers in a row I'm on number 813 now, and I've actually been working on that number list for years. I used to start start over every trip and see how far up I could go, and I did that with my son on a lot of road trips, you know, to get up into the hundreds sometimes if we were traveling across coast. You have to be in a row without a dash. There's all kinds of rules, you know, but it's just a made-up game, and that's the point is if you can find some way to entertain yourself that delights you, then do that, especially if it's harmless, like counting numbers or looking for coincidences and names or or looking for sleeping dragons and mountains because those kind of things, at least for me, they bring me a great deal of joy and delight. They make me giggle sometimes. They make me smile frequently. And they cost nothing. They don't hurt anyone. They're, there's there's no downfall to, the, to it, you know. Uh, so I encourage you to look for small ways to delight yourself that that don't cost anything that don't hurt anyone and partake in that you know whether it's 
whether it's playing with numbers or playing with sounds or playing with colors or playing with um, ideas or all of the above. Play. Enjoy it. That's my two cents for right now. I hope you're playing and enjoying your life. Till next time, peace, prosperity, positivity, and possibilities.